Hey boys and girls, what we are going to be talking about in this video is the Unit 5 CRT preparation for statistics. Now there's a lot of different things that were that are covered in Unit 5 itself. However, the CRT uh, pretty much narrows it down and focuses just on the uh, table probabilities. So probabilities given a table is really what uh, we really need to focus on. So there's going to be several problems that we're going to be solving given pretty much a table that looks like this, which has two different categories. We have age of people, I'm assuming, and then author, the author that they happen to like. And so they, so these people of these various ages filled out a survey and they, um, they came up with these frequencies of this, uh, in essence, larger frequency table. Okay, so we are asked to find uh, different probabilities given some things. And the different types of probabilities that they will ask are broken down into these four major topics. And these are just kind of like a general uh, formula to understand what the probability is asking for. Okay, so the very first one would be like, what's the probability of A, which is probability of something. And that would be the number of somethings out of the total. Now, let's first talk about this total because it's used in a lot of these different frequencies. The total is the grandioso total. It's the total total of everything all put together. So for example, this total applied to this table is 140. Okay, 140 is pretty much going to be the total that you'll find right here right here and right here. So on a majority of these probabilities, 140 is going to be the denominator of our probability itself. All right, so the A would be the number of A's. So for instance, if I'm looking for kids that are 11 to 19, there'd be 38 of those. So it'd be like 38 out of 140. That's how you understand these different numbers. So A is out of the total. And, um, and is the intersection of A and B, A and B. So if I take this and I want to know what is the probability of Meyer and 11 and 19, so Meyer and 11 and 19 intersects at the number 9 right there. So the and of 11 and 19 and Meyer would be 9 out of the 140. So the and is the intersection, again, out of the total. So out of, in this case, 140. Or, or is A plus B minus and. Uh, so again, uh, using Meyer and 11 and 19. So it would be A, which would be 45, plus B, is 38, minus nine. So you would add the 45 and the 38 and minus 9 out of 140. So A plus B, so 45 plus 38, minus the intersection of 9 out of 140. And that is how you find um, an or. That's kind of tricky. All right. And the last but not least, and I think this one is the trickiest one, because all of these are out of the total except if you have the word given, okay, A given B. Okay, the word given may also look like this vertical line right here. This is also known as the word given. When you have the word given, like A given B, the total, the bottom, the denominator become is that second piece of the given. So it is the thing that is given. So A given B, notice how B is the bottom. And and, AKA the intersection, is the numerator. So A given B. So again, if it were like 11 and 19 given Meyer, this would become the bottom. So that is the part that's given. So given Meyer, and then the intersection, nine, would be the numerator. So that'd be nine out of 45. Okay. So I've prepared uh, several problems right here. Um, never mind all the zeros, I'll be filling those in. Uh, but uh, here are some problems that all 
uh, could be potentially asked. Okay, so this very first problem is asking, what is the probability of 20 to 29? So that would be kind of like this first example. It's the number of them out of the total. So 20 to 29, I see that there's 44 of those. So that would be 44 out of 140. Okay, 44 out of 140. Again, why I'm bringing up my calculator is uh, a lot of times you it might not the answer might not be 44 out of 140. It might be a reduced fraction or it might be a decimal. All the same thing. So, for instance, 44 out of 140, 44 out of AKA divided by 140 is this. So I'll go ahead and fill that in right now. Point uh, three one four three or 11 out of 35. And I hit the FD button for that one. I hit this FD right there. So that's 11 out of 35. Okay. So that is just a straight up 20 to 29. So it'd be 44 out of 140. Okay. Next is the keyword uh, that we need to look out for in this case is the word and, and is the key word there. So and, it would be this one. So it's the intersection. So in this situation, uh, 20 to 29 and intersect token. 20 to 29 intersect token. So again, what I'm doing is intersect. So 20 to 29 intersects token at five. So this would be five, again, out of the total. Okay, five out of 140 is point zero three five seven and FD one out of 28. So one out of 28. Oh, eight. there it is. One out of 28. Um, and I wrote a lot of duplicate problems. So 20 out of 29 and token intersection. Okay, here again, we see the word and. So again, I'm looking for the intersection. And notice how it's just the same things, just backwards. So where does token intersect with 20 to 29? Token 2029 uh, is the same intersection. So all of this information is absolutely the same as this. There is no difference. I'll just copy it and move it down. So that is exactly, exactly the same. So the order doesn't matter in that situation. Warning. Sometimes you will have a word and in which the things don't intersect. So like, say for instance, I was looking for token and Meyer, token and Meyer. So token and Meyer. Notice how these two things don't intersect, right? So if the two things don't intersect, the probability itself equal to zero, okay? It's equal to zero. They don't intersect. So there is no, nothing that is both token and Meyer. It doesn't work that, that way. So the answer would be zero if they don't intersect. All right, next. We have the word or. So or is A plus B minus and. So we have 20 to 29. There are 44 of those. Or, so that's plus, plus token, which there's... 36 minus and. So the 20 to 29 and token is 5. All right, out of the total, 140. So uh, this would be 44, 36 minus 5, 75. Okay. So 75 out of 140, uh, 0.5357, 15 out of 28. 
And again, the reason that I'm filling out all of these answers is because I'm not exactly sure what the multiple choice answer will ask you for. It, they may ask, say, hey, what's the probability of this? One of the answers might be 75 out of 140, which is absolutely correct. There might also be an answer of 15 out of 28. So if I don't see this answer, then they might give answers that look like this. Or, again, the answers might look like a decimal. So what I'm doing is I'm just covering all the bases of what the complete answer might look like. Okay, so again, or, again, this is the same question, just backwards. So A plus B minus and, so token. A plus B, which is the 20 to 29, plus 44, minus and the intersection, they intersect at 5, again, out of 140, and then everything is the exact same, same as before. So this will all be the same. Someone like that. Okay. So we got the word and, we covered the word or, so again, or is A plus B minus and, so it's, you know, token plus this minus, okay, so it's that plus that minus where they intersect, where they intersect. And so it's this one, these are supposed to be arrows. <laughs> plus uh, minus the intersection, minus intersection token plus 20 to 29 minus where they intersect. Okay, last but not least is the word given. Given, dun, 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 given. Okay, again, this is the hardest one. With the word given, again, this is the word given, this vertical line. With the word given, the second piece becomes the denominator and the and, AKA the intersection, the intersection, is the numerator. This isn't a plus side, that's an intersection. Okay, so the second piece becomes the denominator. So notice what the second piece here in, in this problem is. Second piece is token. So token is going to be the denominator. So token is 36. So this denominator is not going to be 140 like it has in everything else, but rather it is the second piece, which is 36. And the numerator is the intersection. So 20 to 29 intersecting token, 20 to 29 intersecting token at five. That's where the two things intersect. So this would be five out of 36. I don't think that reduces. Five out of 36 is 0.1389er. And they don't reduce. Yeah, it's still 5 out of 36. So in this particular problem, um, you won't have a reduced fraction. This won't even be a possibility. Okay, it just won't even be a possibility. Now, because this was this way in this problem, you might think, oh, well, it's just going to be the same thing. It, it was for, you know, questions A, B, C, D, E, F. Uh, a, B, C, D, and E, all right? However, given the order absolutely matters. And the reasoning behind this is the second piece is the denominator. So token given 29, this is the denominator. That, that's a huge difference. So here token was the denominator. Now, because it's just written in a different order, there's something brand new as the denominator. It's going to be the 20 to 29. So 20 to 29 is now 44. Dun, dun, dun. 44 is now the denominator, making it a completely different problem than what we did before. Okay, token intersecting that is still going to be five. Oh, snap. So going to be five, the intersection is still five, but the denominator is completely different. So this is a brand new problem. So five out of 44, again, I don't think it reduces, um, is going to be one, one, three, six, and it doesn't reduce, five out of 44. So 
again, this middle piece doesn't exist. And there you go. Anyways, so follow the formulas. Okay, identify the keyword in the problem. Okay, identify the keyword. Is it going to be and? Is it or? Or is it given? All right, and given looks a different couple ways. And stick to the formula. Um, if you need more help, read this, uh, look at this video again. Uh, there are problems on the backside. I created some uh, three additional problems back here for you guys to practice. Uh, and hopefully, I, if you have any questions, make sure you, uh, you hit me up on WebEx or in the, uh, the questions tab under the attendance in the Google Classroom. All right. Thanks for watching.